Hi everyone, my name is Wendy Myers. I'm a health and nutrition coach. Today I want to talk to you about a day in your toxic life. Uh, people don't realize how toxic our environment is and how you just completely retox your body even before you walked out the front door. So I really thought it was important to illustrate all the little, uh, all the little pitfalls and toxins that we um, that we encounter even before we even even placed our foot out the front door for our day to encounter even worse toxins. So basically, um, I found I thought this was a really important blog to write because our bodies, on average, have 700 different synthetic chemicals in them that need to be detoxed. So I really wanted to il illustrate the importance of detoxing these uh, these uh, these things out of your body in order to be healthy and if you want to live to 110. Now, when you wake up in the morning, you wake up on your mattress, and all mattresses by law are required to be coated in a fire retardant material that releases formaldehyde gas all night long uh, that you're breathing in and a brominated carcinogenic substance. So all night long you're just breathing in this fresh air of fumes from your fire retardant laced mattress. Um, then you get up and you walk across the floor to your bathroom barefoot on the carpet. The carpets, all carpets release volatile organic carb compounds um, which are very toxic to you and they're coated with all kinds of, of toxic things. Uh, so and it's the, the worst offenders are brand new carpets, but the older carpets tend to, you know, to, to have off gas all these things already. But typically if you can, you want to get wooden floors. You don't want to be having carpet. Plus carpet's really dirty too. Um, then once you get into your bathroom, then you uh, gargle with your Listerine that has got tons, of, dozens of carcinogenic substances in it. Um, it's got uh, artificial food coloring. Um, it, it's got so many different like toxic ingredients that are just not good for you. And then on top of that, you know, FDA says that uh, the average person uses nine personal care products a day that contain 126 different chemicals. So you're just constantly putting chemicals all over your body. Um, for me, I put on, I used to put on like face lotion every day and I put on body lotion and these usually contain parabens and they contain fragrance which contain a um, hundred different chemicals. Uh, the word fragrance is really bad. It means that those almost invariably contain phthalates. Um, phthalates are used to hold in fragrance and hold in colors in your shampoos and um, and your your perfumes and in your face products, anything that has fragrance, you generally want to avoid. You just want essential oils or things like that. Um, phthalates are absolutely deadly. They uh, are absolutely carcinogenic. Um, they're they're a plasticizer. They soften plastics. Um, they're a plastic hardener. Uh, they're just real nasty stuff. You don't want it in your body. Um, then you go back in your bedroom and you put on your clothes that have been freshly dry cleaned. Uh, those contain inhexane and triethylchlorine that are absolutely carcinogenic. You want to go to a green dry cleaners if possible. Um, then you uh, put on some other clothes, maybe your shirt underneath. Most shirts, uh, most clothing have synthetic plastic uh, threads in them and they're synthetic blends blended with cottons. Um, these uh, plastic clothings, um, off-gas uh, uh, plastic fumes that you're breathing in all day, and they also absorb through your skin. Um, so you want to try to, uh, you know, wear all uh, organic, um, natural clothing, 100% cotton, 100% wool, not synthetic blends, but it's it's really hard to avoid these things in uh, today's modern world and our modern fabrics, which feel so nice. Um, then you, when you're hungry, you go into your kitchen, uh, ready to get breakfast, and you pour yourself a bowl of cereal below that kashi um, or Fruit Loops or what have you. I used to eat Lucky Charms all the time, uh, even as an adult, uh, ashamed to admit. Um, but these cereals, they contain trans fats, artificial food coloring, and the kashi contains genetically modified ingredients. They contain, um, most cereals contain high fructose corn syrup. Um, really, really nasty stuff you're putting in your body. The milk you pour on it contains RGBH, which is a synthetic uh, growth hormone, or it's also called cow crack. Uh, it makes the cows produce lots of milk. Um, 
They also contain um, other hormones, pesticides, genetically modified feed, antibiotics, just real nasty stuff you're putting in your body first thing in the morning when you wake up. Um, then you make your lunch. You make a little sandwich uh, with a sliced luncheon meats, usually full of nitrates and synthetic nitrites and antibiotics and hormones. And then you uh, coat it with the mayonnaise with genetically modified soybean oil and put all that in a piece of bread that's uh, filled with aluminum and brominates to soften the dough. Uh, brominates are uh, block your thyroid function. Um, they prevent uh, the iodine from getting into your thyroid and uh, making a thyroid hormone. So that slows your metabolism, makes you fat. Um, and then you're ready to walk out the front door and deal with all the traffic and all the fumes and um, all the... Uh, all of our energy that's produced, produced by coal plants, or at least mercury into the air, so you're breathing that in, and there's just so, so many toxic chemicals. You can add to that the 100,000 industrial chemicals that are currently in our environment uh, that we're absorbing, and companies make new chemicals every single day, and the majority of these have never been tested, and um, we're seeing the results of all these uh, carcinogens by the high rates of cancer, um, 50% of men get cancer, 30% of women. Um, so many women have um, endocrine problems and PMS and endometriosis. And then there's 10% of people have autoimmune disorders. 10% of people are depressed. Um, and there's a reason that everyone is so sick. And the, the reason is these toxins in our environment. Now, a lot of people think that eating a vegetarian or vegan diet is automatically going to save them. It's uh, insurance um, against uh, like heart attack and stroke and the diseases of Western affluence. But unfortunately, this is not the case. Um, it's really still not a guarantee that you're going to be uh, you're going to remain healthy for the rest of your life because you have to factor in all these toxins. But what happens if you don't eat animal protein with sulfur-containing amino acids, uh, these are contained in meat and eggs, when you don't eat these things, you absolutely uh, handicap your liver from uh, detoxifying a lot of these, these carcinogens and toxins in our environment because our liver needs these sulfur-containing amino acids to detoxify. So what we're finding is that vegetarians and vegans actually end up accumulating these toxins much more so than someone who's eating meat or on a paleo-type diet. And so it's again, it's no guarantee that these are going to save you. Um, also, um, I want to tell you a little bit about um, how to detoxify. How do you detoxify all of these carcinogens and toxins from your body? Well, you can. It's not hopeless. Um, there's many, many things that you can do. And these are uh, things I'm going to tell you about, th all things that I do to detoxify uh, these toxins out of my body. The number one thing you can do is do an infrared sauna hopefully every day to every other day for a year, and then after that, maintain it a couple times a week. Um, infrared saunas, um, they heat up the insides of your, of your body, they warm up your cells, and they're much more effective at helping your body and your cells and your tissues release these toxins than a regular sauna, like the kind of sauna that you finish or Swedish sauna that you'd find at your gym. Uh, these infrared rays penetrate like an inch to an inch and a half deep, and they just really like get the toxins out of your body and you sweat them out. So that 15 to 20% of the sweat that you, you emit, it has, has these toxins and you can just uh, shower them off. And these, it's such an effective method. You sweat out plastics, you sweat out industrial chemicals, you sweat out heavy metals. It's just the best. So you can find out more information on my blog, Infrared Saunas, on this website uh, on live210.com. One of the next things you can do to detoxify your liver is coffee enemas. Coffee enemas, um, while they're, you know, kind of unpleasant and a lot of people think no way in hell am I going to do a coffee enema put coffee enema up, a coffee up my butt uh, but I, I promise you these things have so much benefit they're they're used in cancer protocol treatments at the Gerson Institute and the Hippocrates Health Institute and these people have very very high rates of uh, success in treating cancer and many types of disease and coffee enemas are part of their protocol so uh, you can find instructions on how to do coffee enemas on my website uh, on live210.com. 
And basically what coffee enemas do is they the, the caffeine in the coffee dilates the when it's in your intestines, you have your liver has a vein called the portal vein that empties out toxins into your intestines for elimination. So when you have this coffee inside of you and you're holding it inside you for 15 minutes, or you do the best you can. Um, but this the caffeine in it opens up that portal vein and it opens up the little uh, capillaries in your liver and it allows your liver to dump uh, the majority of its toxins into your intestines for elimination. Additionally, while you're holding this coffee, uh, your blood filters through your liver about four to five times. Um, so you're basically getting a blood dialysis and all the toxins that are in your blood at that time are, for the most part, are able to be eliminated through the coffee enema. Um, also, when you do a coffee enema, your uh, liver's production of glutathione, which is a very important detoxification antioxidant, increases 700%. And this glutathione is essential to be able to latch on to heavy metals to take them out of your body because you can't just um, uh, you can't just detoxify the, uh, by yourself. You need the the right nutrients because, like for instance, in the next session we'll talk about supplements. Um, you need supplements like uh, vitamin C, glutathione, and um, uh, you also need um, one other thing. I forget. I'll remember it in a second. Um, but you need these essential. Um, antioxidants to hold on or attach themselves to a heavy metal to eliminate it out of your body. And um, you, it's really essential to have a plethora of these, these foods in, you know, oh, I'm sorry, the other one is R-lipoic acid. It's also commonly referred to as alpha-lipoic acid, but R-lipoic acid is the all-natural uh, version. Alpha-lipoic acid has synthetic and, um, and natural lipoic acid in it, but I think you're just better off taking the R lipoic acid because it's much more effective. So your body needs these three components, the vitamin C, glutathione, and R lipoic acid to attach themselves, one molecule of each to one molecule of heavy metal or chemical to take it out of the body. Um, that's why you have to have these supplements while you're detoxing. It's very important. You don't ever want to de do a detoxification protocol without taking these supplements. The next thing you can do is juicing. Uh, juicing has been used for thousands of years to remedy all kinds of illnesses. Uh, they're full of vitamin C and all kinds of healthy minerals, and uh, they're very, very effective. Um, but you don't usually want to do more than like 16 ounces a day. Um, the best is carrot juice or green juices. Uh, the other juices have way too much sugar. Um, the fruit juices. And you can learn more about it on my website uh, called The Juice on Juicing on live110.com. And the, one of the most important protocols you can do to detoxify is a program I've been doing for a year. It's called Nutritional Balancing with Hair Mineral Analysis. Um, it's a program basically where you, you know, take a snippet of your hair and they test it for mineral deficiencies and, um, and whatever your body is dumping in terms of toxic, uh, toxic metals into your hair. And on this program, uh, based on your hair mineral analysis, they give you supplements, mainly minerals, um, to balance your minerals and get your minerals to the optimum level. It usually takes about a year to remineralize your body. And within about six months, your body, uh, because it's being mineralized, it's able to push out the toxic heavy metals that it's been using in place of minerals. Um, typically, people, uh, most people, they the heavy metals and the minerals occupy the same places. They can perform the same functions, but obviously the minerals do a much better job of this. So once you finally get these, these your mineral depleted body full of minerals, your body is finally able to release all these toxic heavy metals. And that's assisted by part of their program is doing juicing the coffee enemas, 
the infrared saunas and these supplements. So they employ all of these methods and it really, really works. Um, at, at about a six month point, I started releasing tons of aluminum and I started releasing a lot of cadmium. They said uh, definitely more so than most people. I had a lot of cadmium in my body for whatever reason. And um, I just did another hair mineral analysis. I'm still releasing aluminum and getting these toxic substances out of my body. And I can't tell you how happy I am that I'm getting this stuff out of my body. So it's a very, very effective program. You can read more about that on my website, uh, Nutritional Balancing with Hair Mineral Analysis. And the person that I use is uh, Nikki Moses at uh, MosesNutrition.com. But I'm also per currently uh, training how to do this, this protocol because it's I've seen so much success with it with myself and with all my clients that I refer to do it. So it's just something um, I can't turn away from. I've seen so many people uh, have vast improvements in their health within a very short period of time on the program. So I hope this uh, helps to clarify um, why it's so, so important to detox and um, it's so important to get these these uh, toxins out of your body if you want to live to 110. And it's not just about diet. It's not just about supplements. you got to do a lot of things to get these toxins out of your body. So uh, have a great day. Thank you so much for listening.